In an attempt to tackle burnout, most Australian workers are now legally allowed to ignore their bosses' annoying 9pm urgent emails. And that's because the federal government's right to disconnect laws have just come into force. So here's what they actually are and if they apply to you. Since the Panny D and the rise from working from home, work life and private life have become extremely blurred in Australia. I mean, my set is literally just my living room. On average, Aussie workers are doing 5.4 hours of unpaid overtime a week, which, if you add it all up, means more than a month of free work a year. The federal government saw that and they said, well, that's not very demure, not very mindful, and brought in the right to disconnect. These laws don't make it illegal for your workplace to contact you outside of work hours or anything, but they do give you the right to refuse to monitor, read or respond to any work-related contact once you're off the clock. AKA, your boss can't punish you for not replying, and if they do, you may be able to take them to the Fair Work Commission. Very demure, very cutesy. However, there is a catch. See, the laws state that you have the right to disconnect unless that refusal to reply is unreasonable. And we don't exactly know what unreasonable will mean just yet. It's the kind of thing that will probably be decided on a case-by-case -case basis. But for now, here's what the Fair Work Ombudsman says they will consider. The other thing is, if you work for a small business, aka one with less than 15 employees, these laws won't apply to you until this time next year. Now, obviously, there may be some teething issues at the start here, especially for those super around-the-clock culture work places, but experts are hopeful that the existence of these laws will start to create a larger cultural shift in Australia. And with that, I'm off. So if you have any questions, uh, I'm not legally obliged to answer them.